What's up, everyone? I'm Jared, RC Landon 027, the QA manager here, and this is Daryl. This is part two of Cooking with Daryl, or is there a more formal name? That's what I've been calling it. Well, just uh, eating rations. Eating, ras eating rations. Yeah. We've got to do better than that. Okay, we, can do, well, we can do a better name than that. Better name. Well, if the community has a good name for this, then that would be great. Uh, yeah, that come up with something. So, um, so uh, I wasn't here the first time. I think Arlette, was, she got deathly ill, and she doesn't want to eat this stuff anymore. <laughs> is that why I'm here now? Yeah. I'm here to QA the quality of the ration. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, and the I fact get, that I didn't get sick, I think, is, is also telling. Well, you have a, you have a world traveler's stomach, <laughs> right? Like you could probably consume like any I spice. Travel too? You, you're not here. <laughs> you're breaking our immersion, number one, Sorry, and number two. I'm here. Th that isn't Arlette. You hear off. off that camera. was not Arlette. That was uh, uh, that was actually um, Archie. He gets very high pitchy sometimes when we talk about food. Um, so, you want to do a quick summary of what's going sure. on and like or sure. what we did last time? So, uh, right now we're covering the uh, Ein, uh, Einmann Packung, which is the uh, mm. close. It's close. Yeah, uh, is the German uh, twenty-four hour ration. We're doing the uh, Type Five menu, and we ate half of it. You know, as you know, these are, because these are twenty-four hour rations. It's a little difficult to eat all of that in one sitting. Challenge accepted. So we split it into two two uh, sessions. So last time we went through about half of the entrees and half of the um, the appetizers and everything else, and and the breakfast. This time we're going to do the dessert and the other half of oh, all I the food. Oh, I miss breakfast. You miss That's breakfast. good because breakfast is usually not that good. Well, th in this case, it was uh, it was basically mousse with cho oh, chocolate milk. Okay, which was pretty good. So, so I have a couple questions since I'm newcomer to this. So, uh, they would get one ration and they would they it would they weren't supposed to consume it all at one time, right? Yeah. So, so uh, uh, the American system. Well, you yeah, know more about right. the American system, but we can talk about that. Sure. But um, basically, a lot of the NATO countries, what they do is that they give a 24-hour ration. Mm -hmm. So the Germans do it, the French do it, the British do it. Okay. And they give you a box and say, this, this is, is your, this is your this day. For, for your day. So that way, they can. there's a difference between the breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu. Sure. And then, of course, you can obviously mix it up however you want. Sure. Of course, you have a lot of experience with MREs. Yeah, so I, so just so fans know or community knows, I served in the, uh, the um, National Guard for about eight years. And um, you know our MRE system is literally like individually packaged meals and it's like you know you would just get a box of like 20 and there's a bunch of different flavors and usually you want to be in the front of the line because you don't want to get the vegetarian breakfast right so there's like one or two in every box and you actually we did it so long that you you know what flavors are in each date range right each like range because MRE 1 is always the same thing oh, so right. like you would be like alright no don't eat 14 32 and 16 if you want to live right so right. you would always see these last ones get kind of left over so to see a 24-hour box that's kind of cool yeah um, it's a very it's a very different system yeah it's interesting so I've uh, personally I've the, so we're eating the German one here this is for the first time I've actually also eaten the French one the French one is actually really good but it's all a lot of it is off the shelf like okay. they're actually like canned goods they have like commercial labels on yeah. them the American as well yeah, well, the American ones, though, do they put, like, my understanding is that they don't always have the FDA well, uh, labels. I know them. that, like, so most of the main things mm -hmm. were, were like this. They're, like, not off the, like, not off the shelf, but, like, mm -hmm. you know, they had M&Ms in there. They would uh, have, like, yeah. tuna in there. They would have, um, so a lot of, I think, the smaller things were, like. We're, we're off were, the shelf. Yeah, we're off okay, the shelf stuff. that's cool. So. Yeah, so the thing I liked about the German ones is that these are obviously all repacked for the German mm -hmm. military. Like, the, like I said, the French one was actually mostly civilian stuff. Okay. Yeah, and it varies by country. So eventually, hopefully, if you guys like these things and keep watching these videos, we'll do other countries uh, as we can get them. Like they're really hard to get. Um, it was it was kind of interesting. And of course, we want to do American MREs as well. Um, those are a lot of fun. Uh, you said you wanted the coffee or you want cappuccino? Let's go with the coffee. Okay, you're uh, gonna go with the uh, coffee, then I'll do cappuccino. So what? So we're we're at lunch time right now, or we're at dinner, or like? Uh, uh, we're kind of in between, just okay. because we are kind of mixing up the meals. What's the uh, Hobbit? What's the Hobbit schedule? The uh, the tweensies. The tweensies, yeah, and, yeah, second, and the second second, second lunch. Yeah, second we're somewhere dinner. around there, so. So I'm gonna do the cappuccino, and do you usually use cream and the sugar? Uh, I would like it, but I'm gonna try it in stages to kind of see okay. if it's, it might be Fair palatable. Enough. So let's see. This it's is the cappuccino be. mix. Okay, this is the that's a lot of water. These things are sealed so well, obviously, because they have to be. Yeah, to uh, last in fact, for uh, they have um, nine thousand. They even have like matches that are packed really well. Although I think one of our comments from last time is that the matches actually powder are like pretty crappy, but matches. Yeah, because they actually have a pack of matches here. Oh, so one interesting thing that you should keep in mind is that almost every country has a different heating solution. Mm -hmm. 
Germans do not provide a heating solution. I'm not exactly sure why. If someone is familiar with the, uh, the, 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 the Bundeswehr, they might know how that works. I know that they also don't provide utensils because they actually issue you a metal spoon, spoon fork, and, and knife, and yeah. you're supposed to keep that with your kit at all times. So there was none in here. Like American ones, I think you always get a it's, Yeah, it's, it's, it's got everything in there you need, and yeah. the heating system is obviously like a... Uh, uh, packs. I don't packs of something that when you add water they just they basically boil almost instantly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like if you don't have a rock or something to hold it on, you'll yeah. You actually get good. At, you get good at like you'll like do the Bouncy. packages like this. Yeah, and you'll and you'll have it sit because if it falls, so yeah. the, the 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 pack itself is like inside. It has like layers of of uh, of the whatever the thing that mixes with water. Yeah, um, it's like sodium or something. Something like, like that, that that causes chemical reaction, and you don't want to submerge it in water because it will like heat everything instantly so you actually would do like just a little bit and then if you needed to use another later you could flip it over so that you actually had a heating solution for a while you want a spoon yeah do you have something you got a little yeah well, it's, it's fine we'll make a mess well it's not yeah good. it's okay it's all right so sorry that's the cappuccino that it's frothy like that too it's nice yeah. like i said these are actually really good mine like, looks like dirty water i should have went cappuccino i yeah, made a big mistake well and then i so i also have uh, sugar I, I we switched to the sugar and the salt last time but it does say it is a, a Bundeswehr oh, package. That is going to be an unfortunate mistake if I can't tell which one's sugar and which no, one's no, salt. No, no, this one is, is sucre is salt, uh, sugar. Okay. And then this is, and, and uh, cafe, uh, cafe vice is different, definitely coffee whitener. So oh, okay. Oh, that is, so, yeah. So, yeah, so this is a. I'm going to try this here yeah. now and see what we got. So <clears> my favorite part about this so far is I can't tell how many calories I'm about to intake, and I want to keep it that way. So <laughs> yeah. if we're going to do a caloric uh, uh, no, meter or counter. No, you don't want to I don't want to know. So let's see. Here. Cheers. Oh yeah, cheers. Uh, is there was there Bailey's in there or any sort of a German so liqueur? So we were, we were joking that there's only one military that I think still includes alcohol in their rations. Russians, Italians. Oh, believe it or not, never yeah. would have guessed that. Yeah, never would have guessed that. So because of that, bidding on one of their meals, it's two hundred bucks on eBay. I've seen it as high as two hundred US. That's nuts for a single meal. That's nuts. Well, we, no, that was a twenty-four hour pack, but still, that's crazy. All right, so. It's you not good. Black? That is black. Okay. So oh, it's actually, you normally don't drink your coffee. No, I don't. I normally I sugar that bad boy up. Although I've been trying to cut back some. So let me get a little sugar in here. Yeah. Get that sugar on my tongue, tongue. Yippee, yippee, yum, yum. Uh, boy, I hope I That's read that German good. correctly. I hope you did too, because I'm about to, if I have to have a salty coffee. We're gonna have some big problems in here. Yeah, you can actually you can add salt to coffee, but not that much. Well, you can add anything to coffee. Well, yes, yeah, so I'm just saying that. It, <clears throat> There's actually some places that trying to put uh, salt. There we in go. That's mystery, mystery milk powder. We'll put that in there. That's nice. How's your cappuccino? Is it just, it's actually, good, right out of the right yeah. out of the gate. Well, you know, I, I did offer. <laughs> yeah, you did offer. I, I you know what? It's okay. Mm. A little more cream here, so if I can lighten this and, up uh, a little bit. So uh, you have uh, actually background with food and the military. I did, yeah. yeah. So I was for when I first signed, I was a cook in the military, actually. So I've actually seen various different types of food solutions because they have multiple different ones. There's the MREs, yeah, and then they have. I'm. It's been a couple of years, guys, so don't yell at me. But they have like meals ready to serve that are like pre-made trays that you basically just put in an oven and then like it comes out. So, so those are like for field kitchens. Yeah, because we used to have what's called an MKT. I should have. I should have prepared for this because I have all this stuff somewhere. But MKT, a mobile kitchen trailer, oh, cool. which you would attach to the back of a, a vehicle and obviously yeah, would yeah. tow it around it. It's like a pop-up tent. So it's like about an hour of, of work and you can like raise the roof and like it's got it's got um, a, an oven system in there, like all sorts of like, you know, sanita a sanitation system, stuff like that. So you can set up a, uh, a, a, you know, a food line basically anywhere you need to. That's cool. Um, so, so they have the MREs, which are like, you know, if you need them, you just throw them out to people, and then you can have like uh, you can have like a tray system where you basically just heat it up, and, it's, and you just rip off like mm -hmm. the, the aluminum foil and eat. Um, so that's and like, then, it's almost like catering, right? Yeah, and then sometimes you know we would just could get a bunch of biscuits from Bojangles, and that would be our breakfast. So uh, go guard, you know. I'm just <laughs> taxpayer money at work there. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever actually have to like cook, cook from like raw? Uh, raw Your initial food? training is. Oh, prep I see. cooking, yeah. Okay. So you go through um, baking and, and you know, like learn how to like cut a chicken, you know. And so it's, it is raw training, and there's even a couple courses on making fancy or uh, like uh, garnishes. Like I can make a swan owl, you know. I can make an owl. Wait, wait, I mean, I mean a swan owl, a swan out of an apple. Sorry, that was a little confusing. But why? 
Why do they? So you do sometimes. So you also, again, if you're active duty, you also serve like in uh, kitchens, like actual kitchens for on bases uh, and stuff. So they do have you so prepare to do. So and you would still actual, like kind like, of you know just to dress it up a little bit. I mean, it's nothing super fancy, but yeah, we would. You know, we can do. So, I can do some strange garnishes that come in handy, like at Thanksgiving. For officer parties. And that come, like yeah, that. for like Thanksgiving and Christmas is when it comes in useful oh, twice a year. Oh, actually, that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes sense because you want to special up the meal. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so next thing. Okay, right, so, so we're that's good. Now that I'm not on fuego, we raise our body temperatures All a little right. bit here. Let's let's try. Uh, last time we waited until later to heat this up. So oh, and it took a while. Let's. Is that let's trash? This. No, let's just put this stuff in yeah, here. Okay, this is trash. Right you now. want me to save the zucker? No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, we we got more. That's German for sugar. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Here, I'm glad we now know that. So this one, uh, could you check the menus? I can. This, this so one is hot fleisch risotto. So whatever. So, well, well, these are in English. Yeah. Oh, so minced beef risotto. Oh, these. Oh, this. I thought there were two different ones, but they're the same one. Yeah. yeah it's okay. The same so one. I'm so, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Minced beef risotto. No oh, so you guys had. We noodles? had the other one. The noodles other with cream yeah. sauce and meatballs. Is that good? Yeah. It was good. It was good. It's Shh, Arlette. You're breaking our immersion. <laughs> it was you mean good. Arlette? That's not yeah. here. Yeah. Shh, Archie. Sorry. <laughs> Dead on. Dead on. Maybe not Spanish enough, but really close. So we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do. Oh God! A, why can't I open this? Thing? Oh, there it goes. This, this is how you keep a. Uh, how, what's the shelf life of this food? Did you, did you say that last time? Uh, it is. Um, they use the. They tend to use the made date, not the expired by date. So you gotta do your. Yeah, do your own math. You have to do your own math. But I, three, this one, two years. It's supposed to be like, like about three or four years. Yeah. This so. looks like cat food. Well, you know, they all do. I'm not saying that's a bad thing necessarily because I've opened up some cat and dog food sometimes and been like that actually smells delicious, but yeah. Well, you know, I, I, honestly, so that's how a lot of these preserved foods are. But that's all right. We'll eat. We'll save a little bit. What you need? Napkins. Uh, one of the napkins. Yeah. We'll save a little bit to eat. To see if it's cold. Like if you're in if a you're prep in situation where you can't. Which eat I would imagine just most situations. Most you know, mm. I mean, especially if you're in the middle of an engagement, you're not. You're not starting a fire. Well, oh, actually, I was gonna say that that is one big difference. Move this. Show, oh, show. Yeah, the food. I, I will oh, show. Okay. It. I will show the food in a moment. Uh, you, that is one big difference. Um, like the French actually use the Esbet heaters. Those are really cool. They're little chemical tabs. So anyway, this is what it looks like. So it's mm. not really appetizing looking. Mm. Uh, can you I see am, it? I, I am salivating. Okay. Be our Facebook page. So, but in any case, I, we're gonna keep some of it cold. But I noticed that this one in particular, like the other one, I think you could eat cold. This one, I'm pretty sure you can't. So anyway, so and I explained last time that this is induction heating. So basically, what it does is that it doesn't heat the top of the surface; it actually heats the pot itself. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It uses nice. magnetism. So while that's, that's a happening, that's a separate. Uh, Daryl talks. Separate, that's a separate. Yeah, that's talks. a whole separate conversation, isn't it? I'll cover it up. And in any case, then let's go through some of the other stuff here. We have coffee is actually growing. It actually, sadly, like gives me flashbacks of the instant coffee that we had to drink. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, in some ways, these are pretty similar Standard across, across board, yeah. militaries because there's only so much you can do for. It. I mean, because right. the whole point is that it has to be easy to to feel. Okay, so next, um, let's look at some of the crackers. And Which ones did you guys go through? We did the butter and the butter topping. I guess I covered uh, the mic. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Pate. We did one of the two pâtés, and we did uh, one of oh, the sorry. jams. We yeah. had a slight kitchen fire. We yeah. didn't grease the pan. That's rule number one of cooking, Dale. Just gotta. Yeah, and you need a lubricant. I know. All right. Actually, there's a little bit of oil here. I will throw it in, just to be safe. Yeah, I did get a little lubricant in there, as we like to say in the biz. <laughs> so appetizing. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like, you know, lubricant. Anyway. And I think it just needs to be broken up, too, because you need some of the moisture to get released from it. Popping hard shards of risotto out of there. That's pretty nice. Yeah. I'm going to drop the... I think it also needs to drop the temperature a little bit. I would almost... Ugh. So is this... Do you not heat it up in the pack? 
Is that an option, like boil you water? You could boil you water, but I, when I've done that, and I've done that camping, uh -huh. it takes, a lot, it takes like, a like 45 minutes. Oh, I'm sure, it yeah, takes yeah. Like a really long time. Because not only do you have to heat up the water, but then it, it has to heat the insides all the way. Like right. the outside will be well, hot, piping, and then the but the will inside will be down. really not so hot. Sure, sure. So, uh, that's what, wow, this is, somehow this is heating up a lot faster than the previous time. I wonder so. if, well, I don't know, yeah. Uh, was it last time? It was noodles with cream sauce? Maybe yeah. Maybe the cream sauce is That had a lot more a sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we're doing this. Um, and we got some crackers. Crackers. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and that's butter, and I think this is... Sure. I think this means that's cherry. Okay. I think that's the... Yeah, there's two jams. There's right? a black jam and an apricot. Is that apricot? Oh, uh, we had the ap apricot last time. That's right. So... This must be the uh, All right. the now black are, jam is like black cherry jam. These crackers came with this, right? Or are these extra crackers? No, these are crowns that uh, crackers okay. that came with it. In fact, they're really nice. The way the German crackers are done, they're in a really amazing vacuum seal and they're extremely uh, crispy. They are uh, crackery. Yeah, they are. They're good. And they don't break, which is a nice thing. Yeah, they're, they're good. Because I've actually had them camping and there was no problem with the breakage. All right, I'm gonna. This looks like sour cream. Oops. Where's uh, do we have that plastic silverware here? No, no, here's some knives. Yeah, we'll spread here, it. Here, use a knife. All right. Ooh. Mm. Can't stay on the heat, stay out of the kitchen. All right. It kind of reminds me of what are those little cheese stick packs that you would take this thing, you would stick it in like the, they're like, not real cheese, but cheese flavored something. Oh you, yeah, the cheese. That's kind of what this reminds me of. The cheese whiz type thing. It's just not orange. It's just that's kind of the taste I'm getting here. Well, try try with some jam too then. All Open right. up the jam. Right. Well, well, stop shoving food down my throat. What are you, my mother? <sighs> well, my grandmother, really. Yeah, well. Okay, so I think. I'm gonna start calling you Mima. <laughs> okay. I didn't call my grandma Mima. It's just funny name to me. It looks pretty good now, actually. Yeah. Well, like I said, I think heat helps. So uh, I'll show people in a bit. Why don't you go ahead and do oh, that? I think we're getting Oh, there's jelly sauce coming out. All right, I had a little, uh, thank God we have a plate here. Yeah. All right, this is, this, this is just black, black jam. Yeah. Like grape, maybe? Uh, I believe it's black cherry, but it might be grape. What is it? Pretty good. It's black cherry. It's black cherry. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where are those utensils? Do you still have them? With the plastic ones? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I said. I don't. Did, did you give them, them to me? Put them over there somewhere. Let me look. Uh, I don't have them so here. We set up the table and then we moved everything. Yeah. We grabbed like the, there's some. Yeah, right there. We grab. I can get. Them. I get them. You're not even here. Technically. Well, that jelly's actually pretty good. That. Black cherry? I guess it's hard to mess up jelly. Yeah, well, and I think that's one of those things. So one thing I do notice, though, is that stuff from Europe tends to be a little um, less sweet than yes, American we're, we're very, we're very sugar heavy here. We are very sugar heavy here, so I do notice that's that. That's also why we're probably very heavy here. Wow. Wow. In the case of ra uh, rations like this, it's supposed to be very caloric, mm -hmm, so I don't think mm -hmm. that's a problem. That's, that may be, I think that's cross-cultural, mm -hmm. so. Let's grab some forks. I think this is hot enough. Okay. I'm gonna take the crackers and put it aside for mess. now. But I noticed how I didn't. You didn't eat any crackers. So do you know something about the crackers that I don't know? No, no, no. It's because I was cooking, man. No. Okay. 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 Oh, well, let me show everybody. So this is what it looked like once it's heat, heated up. Okay. I think it looks a lot better. Definitely. Do um, we want to eat the cold stuff first so that we can settle on the warm stuff? Yeah. Well. Oops. Sorry. Not anymore. No, no, we, like we can in eat there? some cold stuff first, but I'm going to serve this. Okay, so, the, yeah, the cold stuff does not look... So if you don't have access to a heater, I don't think that this is going to be all that pleasant. Uh, as you can see here... You don't think? I have a really strong feeling that's not going to be pleasant. Well, like, the texture is going to be a little weird. Especially. Yeah, I think the texture is going to be the biggest problem. Okay, well, let's, let's give it a all try. Right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in the cold first. I'm going to go cold to hot. Yeah, cold to hot makes sense. I'll do the same. Yeah. It's not terrible. No, it's not bad, but... It's just, the texture is weird. 
The rice doesn't have a good feel. Like, it tastes like something you come home to after having a night of drinking, and you just need to, you just want some food in you, but you don't care if it's heated up or not. So you just eat, take, you just eat leftovers. Yeah, yeah, I'm straight out of the fridge. Mmm, mm. heating it up. Much better. Yeah, it makes a difference. Try it. Mm, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Like night and day. Yeah, yeah, it's much better. Uh, and we said this is the um, this is the uh, minced beef risotto. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, any of the American margaritas really taste like this. This is so I didn't want to because I know we have a lot of American viewers. I'm not trying to be too negative about it, but I feel like the American margaritas are not. Oh, this is good. I mean, <clears throat> I mean they're not bad. No, they're not bad. I mean, you do get some. I think you do some pretty good ones. Like, um, there are lots of pasta ones in there. Did you have a menu that you really liked? What was the, what was the go-to one? I feel like there was always one. I had to look at a list now, actually. Yeah. I just know I avoided most of the vegetarian ones because okay. I didn't think they were very good. Mm. Um, and the, I have, I'm, I know actually which one I didn't definitely didn't like. It was the, the breakfast ones and the vegetarians were not that good. Okay. Some of the vegetarians were bad. Like again, like the pastas and stuff they had. But I want to say like the 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 um, macaroni chili, or yeah, chili mac or whatever. It that's was. a popular one. I think that, that was pretty good. Yeah, that's a popular one. But it, it was kind of like eating like canned like chef boyardee or something at, like that. At basic training, those things would be like they'd be like a market for like certain MREs. Like people would sell because you'd be in line, so you would yeah. just get whichever one was. You know, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, but if you got a good one, people would buy them from you. People, the candy bars in them would sell for like ten, twenty dollars a pop. I'm not because these kids, because we're a bunch oh, of kids, right. cut off from sugar and smoking and drinking. That's and right. And you just and like, it's the only and thing it's the you only have. chance you're gonna get it. And that, and they had to take the matches from us because I think they were scared people were gonna burn down the place. <laughs> well, that's it's insight funny. right there. It's funny, but it's true. Yeah. Well, so it's interesting because what I was reading in terms of these international ones is that when units are from different countries are stationed together for like exercises and stuff. They trade them. They have, and there's trading ratios. Mm -hmm. And apparently the base currency is usually the MRE. Oh, really? Well, but plus, you know, to be fair, these are 24 hour kits, right? Mm -hmm. These are actually worth like three meals right off the bat. But they usually have a pretty unusual exchange rate. Like the French ones are super popular, but I think the German ones are also quite popular. This so. is good. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah. I really like the German menus. I find that the I thought that the French was just going to be like so much better than the German ones, but I find the German and French ones were pretty. Neck you and you neck. said the German was mostly prepackaged stuff already, right? Yeah, but these, but you know, these were specifically repacked for the military. Mm -hmm. The French ones looked more like civilian packaging, mm -hmm. so that was a big difference there. Okay, well, see, so since you said that uh, I, I, I was the only one eating the spread and the crackers, I'm going to go ahead and eat some. Pate. Okay, I know I said the first one looked like dog food, but that definitely looked like dog food. So I'm really into pate. All right, well, what is pate for us? On yeah, so eaters? so pate or roulettes or whatever you want to call it Roulette? is roulette. Oh. Roulettes is dope. basically meat paste, and um, what happens is that it's finely ground meat. It's the same stuff you would make a sausage out of, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But then it's, it's so basically you think of it as a meat spread. Oh, that was my nickname in college. Edit that out of the video, or don't. I don't no, know. I don't think you're going to edit that out of the video. I think that's fake. But in any case, I think we just found the name of the series. No. Yeah, yeah. So the one, the big thing. This is a cultural thing that I've noticed is that. Um, I'm going to try some of that. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. No, please, please do. Um, the association with when we say pate off immediately is that it's some kind of liver. It can be a liver, but it doesn't have to be a liver. So what is this liver? Uh, let me check, because I don't oh, know you German. Can taste? Yeah, you can tell. You can taste the liver. What are you, Hannibal Lecter? Not sorry, I should, human I should, I'm liver. sorry, I didn't mean to do that while you're just stuffing food in your mouth here. Not human liver. <clears throat> anyway, no, this is some, this is just meat. Just meat. Also. So pate does not actually have to be. It's not very spreadable. Liver. Well, it's also. I, I think it, you might want to heat it up a little bit, but. Oh, this is this. It'll be fine. No, I mean room temperature. It's not meant to be. Mm. It's kind of like cutting up a sausage, right? See, it's not bad. 
It's like a Vienna sausage kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how a lot of spreads are. I'm really into those, and so like, like when I go to better Europe, better than I'm this, or like, I'm assuming you get a higher quality, or is it you all can. kind of similar? Yeah, and then you know they're made of different things, mm. so you can get the ones with liver, like the ones with, um, you know, like uh, foie gras or things like that. So they're you're, really you're, nice. You're pro liver. Yes, yeah, so I'm actually pro liver. Okay, it's really good, um, but that's a different. Episode. It's not for everyone, so that that's a different episode where we eat Daryl's sketchy things from around the world. That's what I'm gonna call that episode. Mmm, and I eat some sketchy things. I was visiting a Tokyo office. They actually took me out for. <clears throat> oh, they actually took me out for um, chicken sashimi. Okay. Raw chicken. I think that's where I got to draw the line. So maybe we're not going to do an episode of Daryl's sketchy food. No, but the thing about it is that I would definitely not do that in the states. They have to have, you know, the chicken obviously has to be raised very specifically mm -hmm. for you to be able to eat it mm -hmm. like that. So it was actually really good. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, Archie had some too. Do, you, what do you think of it? Thumbs up? Yeah, he's giving us a thumbs up. Would you up. eat it again? No. Not here. Not here? Yeah, th th that's the big thing is that I wouldn't you do it You want some raw, raw chicken here? <laughs> Who wants a chicken leg? Yeah, I'm not, I would not eat raw chicken here. Yeah, it's just a matter of how chickens are raised, right? Okay. Right, right, if you love them and care for them and, you know, and, them and, and you're them. supportive, yeah. And, yeah. You know, but you gotta have a firm hand, they, you can't let them run the coop. Um, but, uh, do you wanna have a piece I of chocolate? I would love to have chocolate. This, this is the one thing I was looking forward to about this. Okay, next. No offense. Okay, the last time we polled everybody, mm. Fresh and blood. out of the lemon and orange, they said Daryl should Eat the uh, drink the um, lemon, so you're drinking the orange. Let me it's a get strange off. pole. It's a strange pole, but okay. Well, you know, you gotta get the user participation here, or viewer participation. You should be playing tank while trying to do all this. Oh yeah, because that would be so easy. They loved it when we had a stream. They made me eat the whole time. What rice krispie treats? She some. This was when I was on the road, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because. I think You're I yelling at me, put that, put that rice krispie treat in your mouth. Jesus, guys, I'm trying to play a game here. So well, they want to see if you can eat and, uh, you know, play well, at the Well, spoiler, I can't. Yeah, I can't no. Even, I can barely play and stream, much less eat, play, and stream it's at actually, the same time. You know, what I found is that the reason why you never see me play on these streams is that I found that I cannot do it's, the two. Uh, people don't believe me. It's hard. It's, it's actually not easy. really hard. And I discovered that, no, I cannot. Uh, we used both spoons for this coffee. Darn it. Uh, well, we've got like plastic. Oh no! We have plastic. Oh yeah, we have plastic spoons. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It smells like orange. So this Are is these usually high in like uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah, a lot of vitamins to, here. Yeah, and probably a lot of sugar too. So I wouldn't. Don't look too don't hard. Don't have to drink. Okay. You don't. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see how many calories this thing is. And I don't know what the exact good. ratio because I think it's supposed to fit like a canteen, and but I don't know what the German canteen size. The nice is. thing about again, the the American stuff is it's all pre-measured for you too. Right, right. And it's it's meant for your canteen size, right? I don't even well, know, but it comes it comes in a bag. It comes with a bag. It comes oh. with a, 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 a drinking bag. Oh, I see. So it's just so you fill that up with water I, I up to a so, line, yeah, yeah. and then yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then you would do you could do like your coffee. You would so you would put your coffee in the same bag. And then put that into the heater oh, to heat up oh, your coffee. So, you I'll, so it's so it survives like being heated. Well, because wouldn't so, so typically what we do so typically we would take like uh, so I guess I should explain yeah so you'd get the box that like the main oh, meal good. the main meal comes in a box yeah and like I don't know like just well, a the, cardboard box the, yeah and then you'd pull you pull out the the actual meal which is in a sealed um, you know c c container but then you keep right. the box usually and that's usually what we would use to like. Put um, put like put meals in if you've heated them up and you just keep them to the side. You can yeah. use them to prop things up, whatever. But yeah, so it would you would basically have like a bag that you would fill with water, and you would get the little heating device and you would put that in another like container and then it would heat up that bag and you'd have like hot water you could use. Because um, obviously you can't drink the water that's touching the chemical that's heating it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's why that's what I was wondering about yeah, that. You probably could, but. Um, uh, yeah, it, looks, it, it usually looks really weird. This is orange. Mine's, mine's a little. Yours definitely looks like lemon. Mine yeah, looks this like is a, lemon. This is tangerine. Lemon. Let's see what it tastes like. It's Gatorade. Oh, okay. Basically, yeah, that's yeah. what it tastes like. 
It's actually really good. Pretty so good. I find, yeah, so the last time I had the, I had a drink called Exotic. Ooh. That's the actual name Color of the drink. Color me intrigued. Yeah, and so I looked it up, and they actually sell it as exotic flavor. So what is it, like a, like a, a berry? It's like tropical. It's like, like fruit pineapple. punch. Pineapple, yeah, like yeah. Fruit punch. Exotic. I like that. And of course, a typical snack bar. Oh, like so a, like a cereal. Like a, uh, like a granola bar. Yeah. Yep. So do you want to try some? I do. Thank you. Oh, wow. Probably packed with protein. Oh, this is really this good. Is good. I like it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Different. Yeah, and not like, like, again, not cloyingly sweet, which is, I think mm -hmm. I like. I mean, I think that's a big difference. It's moist, too. It's not dry like you would expect mm -hmm. a cereal bar to be. Damn, these pretty good. Okay. All right. So far, a thumbs up for the German stuff. Last time, I had a really good dessert. This one, oh, I need a clean spoon. Mm. Oh, oh, how is that spoon? Is it reasonably clean? Uh, it's, I just used no, it for no, no, the, the no. metal one. I think you need a metal one. I don't think I used a metal spoon for anything, did I? Mm. Okay, that's perfect then. Okay, so unfortunately I forgot to look up the... This guy actually, I did use it for I coffee. got stuck in a... I mean, well, if it's coffee, it should be fine. Did you lick it? We should be fine. <laughs> Would you edit this video if I did lick it, cut back to me licking it, and then me saying no right now, okay? So it should be fine. Well, we've traveled together. We I have. Think we, we, can probably, we can probably deal with this. We've spent many days, many nights together on the road. In St. Petersburg. In St. Petersburg. We actually, we traveled before that, too, didn't we? Would we go to Cyprus? We yeah, that. yeah, we were in Cyprus, too. That, yeah, that's sure. a bit of a blur for me. Because <laughs> it was so long ago. Yeah, that was that was, that was the, a fun trip, though. That was, that was the trip that Archie replayed the beginning of uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Mm -hmm. Oh. Escape from the uh, yeah, escape got, from the got, Cypress he's Hospital. Got, he's got a permanent uh, <laughs> permanent memento probably in his knee somewhere. Uh, yeah, at some point we should probably tell that story, but that's, maybe not that's today. That's a separate episode. That's Daryl's Exotic Adventures Part <laughs> One. But well, that one wasn't my exotic adventure. I'm just saying we've got seasons of this stuff queued up right now. So okay, so here, have me the water. Just pour in. I don't. Oh, so that's the problem. So I don't know how much water. But usually there's a line in there. So in the Americans, a, there's a line. Oh right? no, here it is. Okay. So that's the line. So, so, so just pour it to roughly about there. It says 130 I milliliters. I can't see. So can you tell me when we get to the line? Uh, stop. I, yeah, what, actually, that's a great question. What is this? Uh, look it up because I don't know. Oh, okay. Great mystery dessert. Yeah. Mm. Four sheets of multi-purse paper. Oh, is this supposed to be hot water? Oh no. Cochin them Foster. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll find out. So what happened? I'll, I'll, let me explain this because please do. The previous when I had a, a different German menu, um, uh, it was uh, you added water and then. You just mix it in the bag and... Chocolate muesli? Is that it? No, that was the breakfast. That's the chocolate. Oh. And basically, you did what, I, what I'm doing right now, and it turned into this amazing fluffy dessert. Wow. This is not... You um, <laughs> keep stirring, then. This is not turning out... This, this looks, like we're, looks like we're drinking... I don't know what's on it. I mean, I really don't know which one it is. It looks like we're drinking uh, dessert. Rice pudding. Oh, it was right, the first one on there. Okay, well, then I might have added... That might not have been the water line, then. Because this looks really watery for rice pudding. Well, just keep stirring. Maybe well, I'm not gonna, I can't <laughs> magically cause water to evaporate, is what I'm saying. We could put it, throw it in there and boil it down. Of course, we got to wash that dish. Or we don't. Do we need this anymore? Wait, how long, how long am right I here. supposed to mix this for? Five to ten minutes. Hours. Oh. oh, okay. So, oops, we should have started this earlier. Sorry. Oh, it's got to sit now, and now it reabsorbs everything? Yeah, I think it's supposed to sit there for a little bit. Well, that's okay. Well, let's talk. We can talk for a little bit more. I can eat some more of this So chocolate. do you want to try what they... Uh, it's, this is basically a pumpernickel bread? It's a dark bread. I do want to try that. Uh, this is the one that uh, Archie was saying was kind of like a uh, coaster. It, it's just the shape and the look. Mm, mm -hmm, mm hmm Right. So... That's like a court coaster. Yeah. All right, so... Here it is. We had this last time, actually, too, but since this is your, you know, have some of that. Mm, so you, you can tell that it's very like a dark bread, like a very rye bread type thing. That is dry. Yeah. So, I mean, when mm. I thought bread, I was imagining something going to be fluffy and kind of 
This is I think the, the fluffy. I think the problem with the fluffy is that stuff doesn't keep though. Probably yeah. as long. Because even the American uh, MRE has uh, the bread in there is like pretty stiff and kind of like almost like I won't say cakey, but like mm -hmm. yeah, it's like it's very dense. Yeah, that's a good word. Um, I I've had. Uh, the only way to, the only way to eat it without choking is to lather it in like peanut butter or jelly or something. Which is what we have which right here. Which is what I plan on doing right, right here. Would you like some some no, cherry I'm good. jelly? But I, the other thing I noticed is that, so this is something I brought up is that um, I I've run across canned bread before. Japan actually makes canned mm -hmm. bread. Oh, it's, it's, it sounds like you just found it somewhere. And no, no. Well, well <laughs> what they did is that that was after um, not after the three eleven, but this was after the Kobe earthquake, which was the previous big urban earthquake. And um, um, believe it or not, Japanese actually eat a lot of bread as opposed to rice. So, um, and well, one cultural misconception I... And they don't actually, um, the big difference between like uh, Japanese foods is that uh, they don't use a lot of preservatives. So the breads go bad really fast. Okay. So he, he was trying to figure out a way, this one, this one baker was trying to figure out a way to give bread to people in these disaster areas. Without it going bad. Without it going bad, and because they normally use so much, um, they don't like the use of preservatives, he said, well, what if I can it? So I actually bought canned bread mm -hmm. before. And now it's like served as a no either survival food or a novelty item. Mm -hmm. So they'll put like, you know, I'm an anime fan, so they'll put like, a, they'll license it for an anime, and then they'll put that anime on, as a label on there, and then they're basically selling like a cinnamon roll inside. Okay. Or something like that, and it's just kind of—it's really good. But that is much more the fluffy bread that we're thinking of. This is not. This that is good. not that kind of bread. It's not that good, yeah. Well, uh, this is apparently like um, a, a style of bread that is more like considered fitness bread. Like it's supposed to be healthy for you and everything mm -hmm. else. And maybe that's why I didn't like it. But it's yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, for for American palate. I think it's a little it's a little difficult because it's I so dry. The, yeah, as I know, the taste isn't necessarily bad. It's just. It reminds thing, me of rye bread, but the it's whole just, thing's a little. The weird. texture is very yeah. dark. I mean, the weird. texture is very uh, crumbly, and dry. Are we? Are we? Come on, pudding. It's. Is it puddingizing? Mm -hmm. That's the uh, it verb. It smells or, correct. To become pudding. Okay. It but, smells like uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. So let's hope that comes out of there because that'd be awesome. Do, okay, I, have, do I have anything else in the meantime? What's this? I'm just oh, grabbing stuff. Oh, that's gum. You want to have a piece of gum? I'll try a piece. There was always a rumor in the uh, basic training that the gum was a laxative, which made no sense because nowhere in the field do you want 50 to 100 people chewing gum and deciding they need to go to a porta potty. They, but didn't they used to say that about spaghetti too? It's, it's just a weird rumor. It's like, and there were two different kinds. There was like, a, you know, like two different flavors of gum. They're like, don't eat the orange one. And you're like, <laughs> what? But it just spreads, and you're like, all right, never eat. I never ate the gum. Yeah, I never ate the gum in any... Uh, yeah, and I've heard that, too, and all I was thinking is why... Oh, don't eat this one? Great. It is a laxative? Is that what this says on the back? Mm. Well, Thank, if it thanks is... Thanks for that. Who's not here? I'll chime in next episode and let you know how it went. Yeah. Or not. Or, or you'll be a little preoccupied. <laughs> but, yeah, I agree. Like, why would you put a laxative... No sense. If anything, it should do the opposite, really. But that's not a, well. That's, that's not, not great either. That, I, yeah, that would be kind of unpleasant too. It's good, minty, minty gum. Yeah, flavor's probably already gone. So I'm probably misplanned this whole uh, rice pudding thing. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Okay. Okay. Is that is that pretty much everything? We've pretty much sampled everything. Yeah, here? I think we've kind of covered everything else. All right. So I think the drinks are good. Okay. What did you think of the beef risotto? I thought it was good. I mean, mm -hmm. like, honestly, probably after the cameras go off, I'm going to have another, okay. another little oh, small No, plate. have some now. I have like a mess over here. A messy eater, guys. Sorry. Well, no. It's, it's also, like, we're also kind of eating in under weird circumstances. So uh, here, I'm going to move this way. The, 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 definitely the downside is um, not having a heating source, I think, is pretty brutal. Yeah, so I don't okay, this know. This is good now. I don't eat that much, Daryl. Wow. Mimi, back off. Mimi, okay. So I don't know what heating solution they expect in the field. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, so like the French put actually it, put it on the tank, let the engine from the tank heat it up. Yeah, but that's only going to work if you're in armor, right? Mm -hmm. So like um, the French, like I said, they give you a little stove that has a little chemical tabs, and then you light them. And the interesting thing about that stove is that because it's a metal stove, 
you can reuse it. Like, mm -hmm. you, you have to fold it. Like, it's a flat piece of metal. They're really ingenious. And ironically, I think they're made in Germany. Uh, but anyway. Does uh, German Army, do you guys want these? No? No. All right. Okay, well, well, we all we'll heard, I guess. Yeah. So, and, and so um, basically what they do is they fold it up, and it forms a little stove, and then you put the heating element down below. And then if we ever do a French RCIR, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. And then, well, actually, no, we can't light them in here. Oh, we can. Oh, uh, yeah, well. We can. It's just I just don't want to get fired. <coughs> Anyway, so in any case, you have these little chemical. We can always do an outdoor episode. Camping, oh, camping God. with Daryl and Jared. <laughs> Archie's getting a headache already. Camping with Daryl and Jared. That sounds like a good. That sounds like a good episode to me. Archie's like, you're not gonna make me lug all this equipment outside, are you? And yeah, we are. We are, Archie. Strap up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just mm. because I'm not 100 percent sure. We I don't did like this, where this is going. Correctly. Is it thickening up at all? I think it is. But I I mean it's already been. Has it been a full five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been five minutes. So I may have not read this. I, we may have added just a little bit too much water. Is, is there, there's no line or anything? Well, no, there's a line on the outside, but I think that wasn't the line because. No, that must have been the line. Maybe like a canteen cup You is designed for like a canteen cup? Well, it says to 10 minutes. I'm starting to see it rehydrate the rice. Well, it's a grain, so yeah, the grain's got to absorb it. It's going to take, and it's not heated? See, that's the problem. I think we might have needed to use hot water. Maybe. Oh, well, anyway. Well, do we have a, where do those bowls go? Oh, here. We'll scoop out a little bit and let's yeah, just see let's what we're just, working let's with just here. See what, let's see what Thanks. we have. And I apologize, Sandy. Please, please, sir. Some more rice pudding. Oh, yeah. See, it's starting to become rice pudding, like a recognizable rice pudding. I thought the Germans would just throw up a ton of chocolate in there and be like, go at it. Well, they did that too, so. Oh, and there's a raisin. Oh, a raisin. I hope that's a raisin. Otherwise. We're all in for a treat for this episode. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. I just want to see if it's, like, soft. Do you think it'd be soft? I think so. Mm, you would be wrong. It's probably supposed to be hot water. It's hot water? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not anywhere near? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Okay, mm -hmm. we did it wrong. All in right. Fact, why don't we pause it for a moment? Yeah, and you want to go microwave it real quick? Yeah, let me let me try microwaving. Can we microwave that? No, what I'll do is I'll put the pot's got stuff in it though. I'll put it in another bowl. Okay. And then I'll microwave. So we'll be right back. Yeah. We learned that hot water. Hot water is necessary to make rice pudding. So definitely, I need to learn how to read German. Just Wasser was not enough. I needed to understand what hot water was. Um, I microwaved it, which is causing it to be a little bit lumpier than I think if I had just done this sure. naturally, but this looks a lot more like what I think we should be. So um, my guess is then that they would probably cook all of this in boiling water. Yeah. And then... Yeah, that's definitely, I think, how they would prepare all of this. So I'm guessing is that you, you're expected to have like a fire or something going, and then you're I, boiling I, water. Surprise, and you just I still can't believe they don't supply that in the pack somehow. Maybe that's mm -hmm. what the matches are for. Just light something nearby you on fire and use that. Just set the world on fire. See, that's really, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's way better than what we had the first time. Rice and cinnamon. And a nice, uh, a nice texture. It's a little bit like oatmeal. What is that slippery thing in there? There's like a, is that like no, fat or something from the pudding? Like a pudding skin or something? That was from the microwave. I don't think you would have that okay. if you had done it with a hot water. Because when I microwaved it, you know how it pulls too mm -hmm. much water mm -hmm. out? Mm -hmm. So one part of it got clumpy. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you would have had that if you had just used hot water. Yeah, this is not bad. Yeah, it's kind of like a cinnamon oatmeal, um, except it's with rice. Have a little bits of raisin in there. Okay. So what was um, what was your impression of this German? I I mean I think it's incredible. It's it's crazy how much you know. The, it's crazy me to get a twenty four hour pack. You know, 
I because there's a lot more options. A lot right? more options, and yeah, you know, you just I, I can imagine people probably just eating what they could at the time, and maybe eating more than they you know because you want to carry those calories with you the rest of the day. You know? Right, right, right. Like I wonder if they actually like had time to you know, make the lunch, then package it back up and put it back in their bag and then take it back out later or something. I don't know. I think that's the one advantage of the MRE is that when mm -hmm. you open it up, it's done. That's You're, it yeah. for that meal. But I think the advantage of this is it's flexible. Like, oh, you know what? I'm going to have cereal now. Yeah, if you don't like what you get in the MRE, you're done. You can't go, well, do I want the minced beef risotto or do I want the noodles with cream sauce? You know, you don't have that option with yeah. the yeah. MRE yeah. unless you steal your... And then, you know, like you have these meat pâtés that you can just put on. Yeah, I could see that being a pro for you. I don't, I don't know how that would fly with uh, I tell you, it's just like other people. Sausage. Well, okay. But right, well, you know, I don't know. Vienna sausages are actually really, so maybe it would be pretty popular. I, as I say that, I'm actually going to try this again because I think this is the most interesting thing that's different that I've had here. Yeah, like I said, um, some are more spreadable than others. This one is way more like a sausage. I would think this should be heat up, like, right? Like we said, like, you could heat it up because well, you, you know it's no. a little bit of... There's a little bit of gelatin in there, so uh. yes, you could heat it up, but you don't have to. Mm. A lot of pâtés are served at room temperature. Interesting. But oh no, my pâté, my meat. See, like on cracker or bread, it just works pretty well. The crackers are really good. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm really impressed with the way that they pack it. it sounds so weird to obsess over the um, crackers, but I've had so many crackers like in these different wraps and, and broken. Yeah. Or if they're not broken, then air, uh, the the water leaks. I mean, uh, humidity leaks in, and they get stale. And everything. I mean, yeah. I mean, these are all, and there's a lot. There were a lot in there. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, I can see you just having those in your pockets, you know, and just that way you can munch and go if you're like hiking or, or, or yeah. humping it somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it was good. I, it was good. Again, the weirdest thing is by far the heat source thing. Um, yeah. But I, other than that, I thought everything. And was pretty I, I don't know if maybe they give you some of those like bag heaters or they give you a stove separately because, like I said. They don't include utensils because That's Germans separate. are issued a utensil. So maybe they're issued a permanent little stove. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so if someone knows, let us know. Yeah, yeah cool that, know. that would be very interesting to know. We could probably ask, ask some of our colleagues, too. They might know. Yeah, you know, some of our is. European colleagues might know. But specifically, they have to, oh, for a long time, there was mandatory service. So maybe somebody in our German office <laughs> knows. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the chocolate's probably the best part. I'm just going to say that out there, you know. I'm a big fan of chocolate. What did you think of the margarine? I actually thought it was pretty good. I actually, I think I had a little bit while you were out there. Like, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty convenient though because yeah. it's in a little bag. That's like, how. I've never that's seen how. It. That's uh, probably how the uh, well, the American like they, all their stuff comes in like this too. Like a cheese, they have a cheese spread. I've seen the cheese spread, but I've never seen butter. Well, I don't. I don't know if there's actually any butter in them. Is there any butter in the MREs? No, that's why. That's what I was saying. That's what I thought was that one. It's was always kind of like peanut butter. There's peanut butter. Yeah. And then I think in some of them there's a chocolate peanut butter spread, and that oh, goes I did not hot know. on the basic training market. Oh, I bet it does. Um, and jelly. I cannot believe ten bucks though. I'm t ten bucks and a cigarette would probably sell for twenty. <laughs> you could be, you could make millions down there if you were peddling. Uh, now that we're advocate, now that we're advocating black market chocolate to uh, to basic training. Oh, that's why they're excluded too because. So that, they, well, don't, they don't get any of that. It's yeah. bad. The first couple of days, you go through like your body like has adapted to like not getting a lot of sugar anymore, not getting caffeine anymore, not getting. Oh yeah, because you're not you're not allowed the to first any caffeine, week is right? Miserable. Yeah, it's that's miserable. I, that's what I heard. Usually, the first day, they. Well, let it's you, kind of a detox in a way. It is. It is. The first day they take you in there and they're like, you know, you're like in line for breakfast and they just let you eat it all and they're just sitting there laughing because the second you eat all that food, they take you outside and they just run you for like ten miles and do the, they do the whole basic. Oh. People are. Yeah, it's not pretty. <laughs> and after that, you're like, oh, yeah, I'll just take eggs and uh, yeah. Yeah, no donut, no bacon. Because they had all that there for the people that are stationed there. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. But you obviously don't want to take it if you're going to be running. No, no, you definitely don't. And you got to learn to eat it. And you got to learn to eat in, like, seven minutes. But that's probably another episode. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I think people would be interested to yeah, hear that. Basic, basic training hell episode. Okay. Anyway, well, thank you very much. Um, if you guys like it, please uh, comment. Oh, the no, pizza's next. That's what she wanted us to say. Oh, the yeah, pizza yeah. Pizza episode's next. Allegedly. I'm really looking forward to this. this. This pizza has been, like, I think 10 years in the making. I want to say that they've been talking it's about... 10-year-old pizza? Well. The MREs. The MREs, well, I mean, well, in theory, they could last 10 years. But uh, my understanding is that from the 90s, they've wanted to include pizza in, okay. in uh, MREs, and they've been trying different formulations... 
and this latest incarnation has been like 10 years of development or something like that. It better be some good pizza. Well, the thing is, I don't think it will be great pizza, but the fact that they get anything that even vaguely resembles pizza in a vacuum sealed bag that can last five to ten years is probably a miracle. Skeptical, so. Jared, it's skeptical. But well, we shall yeah. see. It's in no, no, well, well, we'll see. But like I said, uh, until this point, they have refused to actually add pizza. I think for a brief time, they had a pizza like thing, mm -hmm. and they re removed it, is my understanding, because it just wasn't, it wasn't pizza enough that mm -hmm. calling it pizza was a problem. And I, it's interesting that we talk about this because I actually had, um, I saw, I was going to get this um, uh, Canadian uh, ration. It said poutine, and I'm like, wow, they have poutine. Wait a minute, how does that work? So apparently, it's not. It, they're not French. They're not French fried potatoes. It's just potatoes with gravy. <laughs> So it's that, not really poutine. Yeah. yeah. So like poutine flavored potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, I think sometimes they label it that to kind of mm -hmm. yeah, lift true morale. Lift true morale, and then probably dash it once they yeah. open up the bag. Right. So I think that's why I think that's what happened with the pizzas that they decided that false advertising. So they they removed it, and they've been working on it. Like I said, for like that's ten crazy. years. That's crazy. Anyway, so thanks for joining us. If you really like it, you know, add comments. Hit if like, there's things we're not doing it. You know, if there are things that we're not doing that you want to see us do, please do it. If you have any recommendations of what we should be eating or how we should be preparing this stuff, please let us know. It's scary, but let us know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, yeah. And if we do know. anything wrong, let us know, and we'll, yeah, we'll definitely. talk about it. Yeah, Especially you know. because like sometimes when we're eating the foreign stuff, like because we can't read the instructions, we might be totally screwing it up. So let us know. All right. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye.